So this is it. Africa's new constitutional leadership. 77 stories that defined Ghana's fourth republic. Uh, the stories are told by uh, one Mr. Paul Adumochi, and he tells it in uh, 100,000 words. So you can see five presidents, six vice presidents, seven speakers, uh, eight parliament, 31 years of the largest, uninter longest uninterrupted African democracy, and the heads of state are there from left to right, flight Lieutenant Rollins, John Ajekum Kufu in the center is Nana Kufuado. He's the current president. And then next to him is John Dramani Mahama, uh, who is also on the ballot for this election, and Professor J.E.A. Mills, uh, the president that came after uh, the president that came after John Ajekum Kufu. Okay. Uh, so, so yes, viewers, that's, that's where we are. This is the front of the book. Uh, where is the... Is there, is there a back? Okay, so this is the back cover of the book. Uh, again, uh, yes, put it like this. Let's, let's try and read it. 77 stories that define Ghana's Fourth Republic. So what do we say? The fact that Ghana is talking about the Fourth Republic brings up an obvious question. What is or what happened to the First Republic? the Second Republic, the Third Republic, and will there be a Fifth or Sixth Republic? The legitimacy of this question and this potential answer is the reason for this book. So that's, that's, how, that's how we put it. That's how we put it. So um, the, the uh, Africa's new constitutional leadership, 77 stories of Ghana's Fourth Republic. Why are we talking Fourth Republic? Because why are we not seeing first? Why are we not seeing second? People ask that question. Why are we in the fourth? How do we get to fourth? Are we going to have a fifth? That's the reason for the book. If you read the book, you can answer all the questions. Okay. Uh, so just to tease uh, viewers, between now and the launch of the book, every now and then I'll show you some of the stories in the book. Because you are, uh, viewers, you are the producers of this book. You know, you are the editor. So let, let's see one story. Uh, pick any story. Let's look at it. Uh, okay. So this is uh, uh, the Together Have the Okay. So the, what story is this? Ah, the struggle for Ghanaian uh, rights to protest. Uh, this must be story eight, I think, Mikhail, is that correct? Story eight. Uh, NPP versus IGP, uh, Peter Ajete and Akufuado go to court to insist that demonstrations are allowed under the 1992 constitution. So this is one of the stories we put there. It says, uh, the name of the finance secretary, Kwesi Boche, was very prominent during the PNDC days. This was because finance secretary Kwesi Boche had always been the one uh, to read the annual budget. Okay. Um, a state broadcaster was uh, the only television station licensed at the time, etc. Okay, let me go on. I'm jumping a little bit. So again, in those years, the budget was always read by Kwesi Boche, uh, who was PNDC secretary. Upon introduction of the 1992 constitution on 3rd January 1993, uh, now with parliament in place, the president's budget had to be presented to the Legislative Assembly. Now, viewers, this is a story that is about Kwesi Boche. <laughs>